Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way on how to create a file share in Windows 11. The first thing that we need to do is to check if the PCs are in the same workgroup. That means, the PC that is sharing the folder and the PC that is going to access the folder. Let's dive into it. Right-click with your mouse button on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen and click on System. Next to Related Links, click on Domain or Workgroup. A pop-up will appear. Afterwards, click on Change. Home PCs have as a default name Workgroup defined, and that is OK to use. Just check if the PCs that are going to use the file share also have Workgroup defined. You can also change your computer name to something more user-friendly. If you already have an active share, for example, you are already sharing printers, then do not change your computer name because it will break those connections. After applying the new computer name, your system will ask you to reboot your PC. Let's now move on to the next part, adjusting our network profile type. Right-click with your mouse button on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen and click on Network Connections. Click on Ethernet. Change the profile type from Public Network to Private Network. This setting will make sure that if we share a folder that it can be found by the other computer on the same network. Let's now move to Network and Sharing Center. Click on Network and Internet. Go to Advanced Network Settings. Click on Advanced Sharing Settings. Under Private Networks, enable Network Discovery. Tick in the box, set up network connected devices automatically, and turn on File and Printer Sharing. Under All Networks, disable Password Protected Sharing, so you won't need a password when you navigate to the shared folder. Let's now move on to Windows Features. Click on the Windows icon and type, Turn Windows Feature On or Off. If you are starting a share between Windows 11 Pro PCs, it is sufficient to just enable SMB Direct. If you are starting a share with older Windows OS devices, then you need to enable SMB 1.0. After installing SMB 1.0, a reboot is required. Please note that SMB 1.0 is a decrypted protocol and has security issues. If you are purely using it for internal sharing, then it should be fine, but if you are planning to open it to the internet, then it poses a great risk. Now let's move to the final part. Let's share a folder. For illustration, I will create a new folder with the name Folder A in the C drive. Right-click on the folder and go to Properties. Click on the tab Sharing and then click on Advanced Sharing. Tick the box Share this folder. You can also choose a different share name than the name Folder A. It's up to you to decide. I will leave mine as it is. Click on Permission and give access to the PCs that are allowed on the share. I will give full access to everyone trying to reach that share within my network. You can always adjust the permissions later on. Press afterwards apply and then OK. Let's now move on to the security tab. Click on edit, then click on add. Type everyone and press OK. Afterwards adjust the permissions by giving full control to everyone, press apply and then OK. In order to navigate to the new path open file explorer, copy the network path name and paste it. As you can see, Folder A is now shared and available. In order to make the share easier accessible, we are going to map the share to a drive letter. Right-click with your mouse button on this PC. Click on Map a Network Drive. Choose a letter. Copy-paste the newly created network share path and apply. Now your share drive is available next to your C drive. And that's it. Now you can successfully create a file share in Windows 11. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Have a nice day.